Hi, this is Gary from Ether Security Lab. And in this video, we are going to talk about how to extract the code from a Python executable. Usually, Python code is going to be in a .py file, or if it's compiled, then in a .pyc file. To run them, you will need the Python interpreter. So you need to start a program with Python and then the Python file name. However, many commercial software is written in Python, uh, but nobody really expects the customers to actually run the Python interpreter to start the program. In Windows, everybody kind of expects having an .exe file. That's why projects like PyInstaller were created. They can turn a Python program into an executable .exe file. There are other projects, of course, but I played around with PyInstaller, so that's why I'm showing that. It's pretty well documented, and it does quite some black magic in the background. If you want to read more about it, you can do this at this URL. I wanted to show you this image because it shows really well what is contained in a PyInstaller .exe file. With PyInstaller, you can do two things. Either create a one file executable, so basically everything is packed into one .exe file, or you can create a one folder project where all your files are going to be in one folder, and one of them is going to be the .exe file, what you can use to start the program. The image that you see here is the one file version, where everything is packed into one file. As you can see, this is going to be the launcher.exe. At the top, there is the PyInstaller bootloader. And after that, there are a couple of Seek archives that contain all the resources for the application to run. All necessary Windows DLLs, uh, the Python inter interpreter, and the Py files, of course. And once you execute this file, then first all this data is going to be unpacked into a temporary folder. And uh, from there, the bootloader is going to run the main Py file and start the application. From there, it's pretty much the same as every other Python program. What we are going to focus on in this video is how to get back the Python code from such an .exe file. So for instance, if you need to reverse an application that comes uh, from an .exe, but you figure out that it's actually Python in the background, uh, then you want to get back all the data that is encapsulated in the .exe file. Then you can decompile that code, and uh, you can look at the actual Python source code to be able to easily reverse the application's functionality. To walk through this process, I have this super simple Python program here that's just going to print the string, hack the word, and then wait for enter. And um, that's pretty much it. So very complicated. First, I will create an .exe file from this Python file. We're going to use PyInstaller. As you can see, I am in a Python virtual environment, and I installed all these packages in this Python virtual env. So you can use pip for that, like uh, pip install PyInstaller and then it will have a pyinstaller.exe in this environment. Let's look at its help. So let's do pyinstaller minus capital F for a one file application. And I will use the minus minus no UPX. UPX is a packer. And in my case, if I use the UPX to pack the binary, it's going to mess up the signature of the Windows DLLs and the executable is not going to run. So with the minus minus no UPX, you can turn it off and then your executable is going to run. Great. If you run into that problem that you're trying to execute a file, but you get an error that says that the visual C++ redistributable DLL is not valid, then it's probably because of that. All right. So let's say pyinstaller minus capital F, hack the word dot pi, and the magic is being done. If we go back to the folder, we can see that a .spec file was generated, which is basically the specification of the project. There is a build folder, uh, which contains all the files that will be packed into the .exe. And there is a disk folder, which contains the actual .exe file that was created. If I double click it, then it runs, and that's pretty much it. Now you don't need anything else. You can just distribute this one .exe file to whoever you want it to. It's all self-contained. But our point is to actually unpack this file. So let's assume you're doing a reverse engineering project and you receive an .exe file. Let's run it and look at it with Process Hacker. Now let's go to modules. Here in the modules, you would see that it loads 
the Python 37.dll. That's kind of a telltale sign that it runs Python code in the background and it's not a pure C or C++ application. If you're already here in Process Hacker, then you would also see that it runs the uh, binary twice. So it forks from the main executable. That's just how PyInstaller works by design because it provides some kind of flexibility. It also makes uh, debugging the binary uh, kind of a hassle because it could be uh, tricky to, to debug the chart process. To do the unpacking, I'm gonna use the tool called Python EXE Unpacker. You can find it on GitHub and it actually can work with multiple packers. One of them is PyInstaller and the other is Py2EXE. So just one note to this when you are installing it. When you do pip install minus r uh, requirements.txt, it installs the tool called uncompile6, which is a Python decompiler, and we're gonna use that in a minute. However, the version that is installed is not the newest. It might give you some errors. To fix it, you can just install the newest uncompile6. So you can install everything with pip install minus requirements.txt, and after that, you can just run pip install uncompile6, just to make sure that you get the newest version of uncompile6. So let's run Python and Python exe unpack.py, and it's gonna give us a little help, but it's generally pretty straightforward. You can do minus i for the input file and minus o for the output folder. So let's run it. Python exe unpack.py, and I say minus i, and I want to unpack the dist slash hack the word dot exe, and I will unpack it into the folder unpacked. All right, let's see. As you can see, it finds 22 files in this archive. And if you remember, this is which is basically appended to the bootloader, and then 33 files in a PySet archive, which is here in the C archive. So let's look into it. Unpack slash hack the word exe. And yes, so there are all the files that were in the C archive. And then there was this uh, PySet archive and that's extracted here. And these are all the library codes. It's also described on the project website that the main file is usually the one that doesn't have the uh, extensions to it. So this is the main file of the application, which is actually a PyC file, so it's compiled, but it doesn't have the PyC extension, and it's actually also missing the magic number from the beginning. So before we can decompile it, we need to fix that. Theoretically, the Python exe unpack should be able to do this with the minus p to prepend the magic number, but it didn't really work out for me. So I decided to do it manually. Let's open the hex editor and I will throw this file in. You can see it start with e3. This is not the PyC magic number. To figure out a working magic number, uh, you could just take any PyC file that was used with the same Python version. I just take the cached file for the hackthebird.pyc. As I explained, Python automatically creates these files. So this is the magic number we need. I will just copy these and put it here. Let's say paste insert. This changes the size and that's fine. And let's save it. I will create a new folder called decompile. And I will also add the PyC extension to the file. So let's try to run uncompile. So uncompile is a Python decompiler. So once you have the PyC file, which is the uh, compiled Python program, then uncompile can turn it back into Python source code. So uncompile and minus O, I will use the decompile folder as an output and then the file I want to decompile is under unpacked, hack the word .pyc, and enter. And it's successfully decompiled. Great. And the decompiled version is here. I will throw it in sublime text. Then you could see that apart from a couple of comments uh, at the beginning, it's actually the same file what we had. All right, so that's it for this video. Just to recap, uh, we learned that uh, you can create exe files from Python projects where everything is compiled into one exe. And um, you can also reverse this. So uh, if you receive an exe and figure out that it uses Python underneath, then you can 
unpack it with the Python exe unpack, unpack project, and then decompile the PyC files with the uncompile six program. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, then please subscribe. And other than that, I will see you next week. Happy hacking.